I'm Catherine Mannix and I'm a palliative care consultant. So my full title is a consultant in palliative medicine. It's a bit of a mouthful. But basically, I look after people who have illnesses that probably aren't going to be cured mm. with a focus on trying to manage the symptoms of the illness so people can live well or as well as possible despite the fact that they've got sometimes very serious conditions. I got involved because um, somebody heard me talking on the radio about dying, which is of course something that I've come across many tens of thousands of times in my uh, career in palliative care. And they wanted to try and add a strand about ensuring that the storylines that were about people who don't survive their cancer were about what really happens, what's likely to happen to people, rather than some of the media hype and horror stories. I think there's a lot of really bad information in the public domain about dying. I think it's something that people are very, very frightened about because the media portrays it as something horrible, frightening, um, unendurable, and of course, most people haven't seen anybody die because three generations ago, people who were dying died at home, but now they all die in hospital trying to stop themselves dying. So people replace that what was common knowledge with what they see on films or on TV dramas or they read in the newspapers. And of course, that kind of stuff is dramatic, whereas actually, the normal, usual gentleness of gradually becoming more tired and gradually settling into dying, which is what normally happens as human beings are dying. Nobody knows about that. I think the myth that actually dying will be dreadful, that pain will escalate, that uh, in some way, if you take painkillers, and especially strong painkillers like morphine, you will shorten your life. They're all unhelpful, wrong myths. And actually, controlling your pain, taking the right dose of painkiller for you, that's a really good thing. It won't make you sleepy. It will make you recover some of your energy and your ability to join in with the things you want to do. And there's no reason why people can't have you know, reasonable pain control throughout their illness. I would never tell somebody they're not going to have any pain. I wouldn't tell a person who didn't have cancer they weren't going to have any pain. We all have uncomfortable episodes from time to time. But most people can have most of their pain controlled almost all of the time and live a comfortable life. My poor body. 